Welcome to another episode of D45 Tech Talk. I am your instructional technology coach, Matt Granger, and today's episode is creating classes in Smart Response. So, using the Smart Response, you've seen the other videos, you've set up, you've used the setup tool, you've got all that going now you need to create a class and the reason that you're going to create a class is so when the students log in you're able to collect the data and it's tied to a specific student there's an anonymous mode that you can use where you don't know who said what response but creating a class using a student ID which may or may not be the number they use and you'll see that later um, ties the specific results to the student so that's what we're gonna take a look at today um, I have to first apologize I don't have the green screen someone's using it so Miss Ann uh, sorry it's a messy background I've, I've, ha I've got feedback about a messy background so sorry nothing I could do about it today so, the first thing we want to look at is In teacher tools you're going to create classes so let's uh, watch a video about that so when you select teacher tools this window will show up if it's the first time that you have opened it you create a file title whatever first name you can put your whole first name you can put an initial last name you don't necessarily have to fill in the school and the district. It would show up on, as it says here, information appears in printed reports. Whatever you want to show up there, that's all it's for. Save. So you have to find a place to save it. I'm going to put it here on my desktop. By default, it takes the name that you put in, the first and last name. You can change that if you want. And then save first thing I want to do is add a class. Elementary teachers, all you have to do is add it one time for, say, your math class, and then for any other classes that you want to add, it's very simple. Middle school teachers, uh, you're going to do the importing. I have a set of directions. There will be a separate video on getting the data from Power School and then importing it in. Element. So you click add a class, give it a name, period, location, doesn't really matter. You can put that in middle school teachers. The passing grade, this is what will show up if you're using any of the reports. It also shows up in red just so you can see students that failed. Um, I generally use like a 70 so I can see who got a C or above. 
but you can make that whatever you want and then add next step here I need to add students so the student ID this doesn't necessarily have to be their student ID it could be if you want it to be in the past if I was teaching third grade I would make the first one three zero one and then put in their name now that the students are used to using those numbers you may want to do it it's a five digit number if you had a list and so we'll just say this one is uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's their student ID. I can use the tab button, put in their last name. Tab, put in their first name. Return should take me down. I'm ready for the next one. Now, there are some students that have 5,000 and then a zero and then four digits at least most that I've seen if that is their student ID on their password and when they log in for other things 5000 part is gone and it starts with a zero and then there are four other digits that's what I would do if they have one of those because this is the five digits they're used to so I have the class I put them all in I have them now let's say we wanted to add another class so I can click add class we'll make this one reading the reason I would use another class is if I want to have the assessments and the things separate for when I use it in math and separate when I use it in reading or science or social studies so I'll call this one reading change the passing grade again add now I'm going to add students. So all you have to do now and put in the student ID. When I press return, the student appears. Finish that up, and now I have my reading class done. This file is being saved automatically. You don't need to file save. The reason these student IDs are important is when the students log in and you are doing an assessment and you start a class when they log in with that number then it ties their results to them and that will show up and you can assess I'm in the students tab here I'll be able to do reports of student performance student results on different assessments so that student ID is important to make that connection who is logging in and who is giving these results so <clears throat> you created the class now you can use your smart response system either the clickers or smart response VE which we'll have to we'll have another video about that uh, to give assessments and this is great because it ties in well with uh, domain three of the Danielson framework about assessment and uh, data. So a good good thing to be using if you have devices to use the smart response VE or if you have clickers. So join us for another episode and. If you need any help, always email me, mgranger at d45.org, and I'll be happy to come in and help get this set up with you and show you how it works and run some with your students so you can start gathering that data. Thanks.